Would you like to create some awesome YouTube channel art for your YouTube channel? Doing just that will increase your ability to convey a message and ultimately inspire people to subscribe. And in this video, I'll share how you can easily create your own channel art, also known as a banner or header, for free. So, stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that success is dependent on. You can't uh, achieve a high level of success until you inspire people to take action. In this video, I want to share with you how easy it is to create a stunning channel banner or channel art that will allow you to let people know that what you've created is special. It will help you to keep people on your channel longer and ultimately drive more viewers to becoming subscribers. Let's jump on my Mac and I'm going to walk you through how you can create channel art and it won't cost you a thing. I'll meet you on the Mac. Dig it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about channel art and really getting some great results with your YouTube channel. I'm going to access my channel on YouTube, Brian G. Johnson TV. And the first thing I want to mention is that anytime you're creating assets for YouTube, that's a fancy word, by the way, uh, that really refers to the media that you create for your channel, like thumbnails, uh, like the channel art, and what's the, uh, oh, the icon as well. All of these items, the icon, which is right here, the channel art, which you can see, and the thumbnails should work together harmoniously to convey what your channel is all about. When somebody lands on your channel, really the goal is to create an experience that's unique and different, and thus, as we move forward and begin to craft and create our YouTube channel art, don't think of it as like it's a banner, it's a thing at the top, and I need to create this one thing and then move on to the next. Think about your channel overall and then move forward. Now, I want to show and share with you some examples of what I'm talking about. First off, Evan Carmichael, notice how simple his channel art is. It doesn't have to be fancy. In fact, oftentimes simple is better because as somebody that's coming to your channel for the first time, the simpler it is for them to understand what your channel is about, the better. Because when people don't understand, they move on. Another great example of this is uh, Video Creators, which is run by Tim Schmoyer. And here you can see he's got his value proposition, Master YouTube Spread Your Message, in his uh, channel art, uh, just like I have. So my channel art, stake your claim, amplify your message. And you hear me say this in so many, if not all, of my videos. Stake your claim amplify your message, and inspire action. And, and again, it's really about creating a congruent and a harmonious message across your channel. Notice the colors are consistent in the thumbnails, in the channel art. Same thing with uh, video creators. There's a look and feel that really uh, cr creates a brand feeling. And it's very memorable. When you see these thumbnails once, twice, they're in your mind. You know that it's Tim from Video Creators and so on. And um, uh, Jacksepticeye, a real popular gamer on YouTube, he's done the same thing. And I want to draw your attention to just how simple his channel art is. It's green. There's an eye, Jacksepticeye. That's it. And simple is so powerful. And that's one of the things you want to think about. Now, we're going to create a channel banner right now, and I'm going to walk you through that. However, before we do that, I just want to share with you that oftentimes, as entrepreneurs, as digital marketers, we want to do everything ourselves, and that's great. But sometimes it really makes sense to hire somebody else. And even if you're on a budget, you can find some amazing uh, graphic designers for cheap. Um, I am on Fiverr, that's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. I search for channel art, and if I hover my mouse over, you can see that some of these um, Fiverr uh, entrepreneurs or these people that have these, uh, they call them gigs, um, they've, they've done a lot of these um, 
these designs. And this particular one has been reviewed 195 times. This one's got four reviews. This one's got 17. This one's got 44. Uh, this one's got three. You have lots of options for five bucks. So while you absolutely can create really great looking channel art to spend five, 10, maybe $15 and, and you'll get an upgrade, right, on Fiverr, you can outsource something that looks far better than you could ever create. You'll be done in 30 minutes or less. And instead of spending two or three hours um, creating channel art, you can have a professional do it for pennies on the dollar. That will free you up to make another video or something similar. Okay? All righty. With that, let's get started and let's talk about how do you actually create channel art. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you hover your mouse over your um, your channel art, you'll see this pencil, which is the um, the edit link. You're going to select edit channel art, and what it's going to do is is basically give you the 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 place where you're going to drag your files in once they're done to populate. However, at the bottom here, notice how to create channel art. We're going to click that link. It's going to open up this page. It's going to give us lots of really helpful information that we can use to uh, tweak our uh, channel art and so on. There's even information for Android, for iOS, iPhone, iPad, computer. You can get images, and it also is going to give us the uh, dimensions that we need. The recommended dimensions for YouTube channel art are 2560 by 1440. And further, furthermore, if you download this link right here, or download this, this pack here, you're going to get a, a template that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So download this, and then you're going to log into Canva. So right now I'm on Canva. Dot com. It's free to use, and I've used this so often to create great thumbnails, promotional materials. You can see here some of the work I've done to, to really get a, a certain look or feel, um, and so on. So how do we create YouTube channel art? Well, first off, notice we've got a lot of different designs we can use. Social media, presentation, poster. I'm going to select more, and then I'm going to hover down until I see a Facebook event, and we're getting close. YouTube thumbnail, YouTube banner, and there we go, channel art. I'll select that, and what it's going to do is it's going to pop in the exact size that we need. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that download pack that you can download from YouTube that's got a template on the channel art. Well, I can access uploads here in Canva, and I've already downloaded and uploaded that. How do you upload images to Canva? You literally click this button, you select the, uh, the image that you want, you click OK and then it uploads. So I'll go ahead and uh, click on the template. Now YouTube channel art is, is a little bit more complex than like creating a cover image for Facebook. And the reason why is that some people are going to uh, be accessing your channel from their iPhone or their Android phone. Some people are going to be on a Mac or a PC. They're on a desktop. Other people are going to be on a tablet. And all of these screens have different re resolutions, different sizes, and the channel art um, has to reflect that. So here you can see um, this is the entire channel art. It's huge. However, what we can do is we can really focus on desktop, minimum, and mobile. This dark gray area right here, and we're going to fill that up with some real simple text, maybe a logo or some imagery that will convey what our brand is all about. And then we'll go ahead and we'll delete this. So how do we get started? Well, I'll come over to Canva, and I'm going to select text. Notice we've got these different um, options we can use. I'll click on text, and then we've got all these different um, templates all ready to go. And this is pretty simple. And, and just like I mentioned you know, with Evan, simple is, is powerful. It really allows you to highlight colors in a powerful way. Simple is powerful because it can allow you to, uh, to really put your value proposition front and center. Master YouTube, spread your message, or uh, like mine, which is stake your claim, amplify your message, right? So with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and we're going to select this uh, template. It's free. I'm going to click on that. And now notice what we have is we have elevate and we have a second line. 
So I'm going to come in and I'm going to change this to Brian G. Actually, let's do this. I don't want the period and then a capital TV. And that looks great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sub tagline and I'm going to incorporate my value proposition that I just mentioned, which um, my value proposition is stake your claim, amplify your message, inspire action. And for this, all I want is amplify your message and inspire action. So I'm going to add in amplify your message and then hashtag inspire action. Okay, super. This looks um, awesome. So now what we're going to do is basically I'm going to kind of size this Okay, that looks great. So I've got it perfectly sized to fit in the desktop area, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I've got my brand colors. So what the heck are my brand colors? Well, it's a bluish black and a yellow. And again, if you look at uh, my header here, you can kind of see there's the, the yellow, there's the black. I've got these black splats. Notice all my thumbnails have the splats in the corner with my yellow G. And that uh, represents the color palette of my brand. So what I want to do is first I'm going to select the text here and I'm going to select my own color palette and I'm going to add in the yellow which is FED 100. Fed 100. Okay there we go. So now you can see uh, it doesn't show up great against the white but I'll show you what we're going to do as we move forward. Brian G. Johnson TV amplify your message, inspire action. And you know, and again, we can play around. Like maybe what I want to do is do something like this, right? And uh, I also can come in and I can change fonts and whatnot. So I've got a lot of different fonts and I actually have a font too. So, and here's the font that I was mentioning, Source Sans Pro. So I'm going to select that, okay? And, uh, we're going to actually make this a little bit smaller. That's good. And let's uh, switch the font here as well. This right now is Oswald, and we want Source Sans. There we go. And if we come down, we can see additional options. I want this bold, and I want this bold as well. Good. Okay, cool. Now I want to turn this um, the yellow color. Excellent. Okay, so I've got that centered here. Pretty darn close anyway. And I'm going to click away. Now what I'm going to do is notice that I've got the template highlighted. You see those little circles in the corner? If I click off the, the, the work area, they go away. Here they're, they show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply tap that away. Now I'm going to select background. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to select document colors and I'm going to come in and I'm going to add in my bluish black uh, for my brand. And that is 1A2732. And like so. And then I'm going to add the same color palette. And there you, there you have it. Um, it's really simple. It's really elegant. And maybe even what I want to do is like make it a little bit smaller, right? I can just mess around with it a bit here. Let's do 36. That looks pretty good. And now what I can do is I can download this. I would probably select PNG. It's a higher quality. That should be fine. And then I would go back to that area that I showed you when we began, and I would upload this as my YouTube channel art. Now, this is pretty simple, but it'll get you started. And the thing you want to think about is it's really powerful to create a brand. It's really powerful to create a, uh, a value proposition and to repeat that in your videos and in your, uh, in your channel art or on your website and so on. In fact, when you, when you visit my website, you can see here, stake your claim, amplify your message. And these are all really congruent. My website harmoniously works with my YouTube channel. It's the same colors. It's the same brand. It's memorable, and it stands out, and this fits in absolutely perfectly. So I don't have to spend a ton of money and hire a fancy designer, or um, I don't have to have all the most amazing graphical 
elements and whatnot when I'm just starting out. And if you don't know what your value, value proposition is, that's okay. Just start off with your channel name and that's it. Now, there are a few other things that you can do to, uh, up, um, to add some fun and pizzazz to your, your channel art. One of the things you can do is you can incorporate um, clip art and whatnot that is available in uh, inside of Canva. So you can see a lot of this is free, and then we've got some clip art that's a dollar a piece. So I could uh, add this in, and uh, maybe I want to make it yellow or, or uh, white. I'm going to delete that for now. But there are a lot of options to, to Canva to extend the beauty of what you create. And again, I'll also mention that Fiverr is really a great option, and it's five freaking bucks, you know? If you're thinking about doing advertising or something, instead, what I would suggest is first create a really beautiful looking uh, channel art for your channel because this is where people land when they wanna learn more. And basically what happens is you upload videos, people that have never heard of you are gonna find them, then they're gonna navigate to your channel page and they're gonna decide if they should click subscribe. And by having something that looks great and is congruent, you're gonna have a far higher subscription rate because you're letting people know that you've created something that's worthwhile. It's not just here and there's zero channel art and you haven't customized your channel. So all of these things will really help you to move forward and gain more subscribers. And spending five bucks at Fiverr is a, is a great way to get started. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial to be of help. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button right now. I upload new videos all the time that talk about the strategies and tactics that I've used to ultimately drive and convert traffic online, whether it's a building a YouTube channel or leveraging self-publishing or making money with affiliate marketing. These are the things that I've done and these are the things that I talk about on this channel, Brian G. Johnson TV. I'll see you next time. Brian G. Johnson!